ChatGPT can now see, hear, and speak. We heard about that on September 25th of 2023. Unfortunately, four days later, September 29th of 2023, I still don't have access, and it seems like I'm the only one who is missing access to this vision, uh, to this fe vision feature. Uh, oh, jokes aside, I know it's kind of a rolling thing, so there are certain creators who already have it, and they have posted a lot of cool information on Twitter, on X. Uh, so I want to take a closer look at what's happening and some of the cool features that people are using chat gpt vision for um I, like i mentioned i'm waiting I'm, I'm hoping to get it within the next week or so i know they mentioned by within the next two weeks mostly all uh chat gpt plus users should have it so if you are wondering why you don't have this feature it is a rolling out feature and they're going by so i i don't know how they pick on which users get it first um but hopefully within the next week or so everybody should have access so what i I pretty much spent most of my day today is taking a closer look at Twitter and or, or X, whichever you want to call it, and take a closer look at different content creators that have posted what they're using ChatGPT for vision with. Uh, and I think some of the things are pretty, pretty insane. Uh, so the first one we're going to see is from Salma. I'm going to leave right here uh, their X account open. So if you guys want to follow them, I do believe they are sharing a lot and a lot of different information and different tests. Uh, but here we can see this content creator, one it to it seems like they're selling some form of vitamin a capsule which is good for a strong bones so they kind of ask hey look it's almost halloween can you help me style this for a social media post and chat gpt gave some amazing response i mean i thought it was pretty interesting um one that i found pretty interesting is they found they, they number two was do some funny captions or punny captions and you can do play with words related to vitamins and halloweens for example don't let your bones become skeletal this Halloween. Fortify them with our vitamin A capsule. And why I really found that super interesting is because it doesn't seem like the user gave much information about their products. They just gave kind of this uh, image of it. And from their image, ChatGPT was able to pick up that, hey, look, it's a vitamin A capsule and it's good for calcium to, spin, to, build, to build strong bones. Uh, so right off the bat, they already know, hey, look, for Halloween, we're going to use this funny, punny line. Uh, so I think that was pretty interesting. And then they gave them other types of solutions uh, to kind of make this more of a Halloween-based social media post. Uh, they kind of gave some form of lighting, some kind of, of pictures and images to use uh, to make it more Halloween theme. Another thing that I found pretty interesting is they also tell you, hey, look, a great way to kind of be um, good in social media is to have some form of interactive element. So they mentioned engage your audience by adding a call to action, something like what's your essential potion for Halloween? Share with us using slash vitamin Halloween. Uh, so it's kind of a way for the users to kind of go back and kind of comment and engage with your post, which in theory could help the post seen, get seen by many other people. So then after the user ended up recreating an image, it asked for some feedback and the comp the image said, hey, look, it looks pretty cool. It kind of gives the this Halloween or fall theme. But they do mention that you can probably go even more eerie or spooky by adding things like spider webs, darker tones, or eerie lighting. So I think this is insane and showcases a pretty good case of ChatGPT Vision to help users and to small, help small businesses kind of create engaging social posts. Uh, so that's the first one. The second one I want to take a closer look at is by this uh, content creator, McKay uh, Wrigley. I want to say I definitely recommend following him. Uh, he posts a lot in a lot of different tests. So I'm only going to showcase, I believe, two from him or, or, or three. Um, but he does have a lot of great content using ChatGPT Vision. And it's more of like using it in a coding in a coding environment so chat gpt vision the way he used it is he had an image uh and let me just go back he had a quick image that he showcased uh chat gpt and he gave and, and he gave the chat gpt some guidelines hey look i want to use this image to kind of create a web page um i want you to use this form of language i wanted to use this type of of styling and this use this type of typing or and, and so on and so forth and if we take a closer look at the video later on we do see that 
that uh, ChatGPT does respond with some code, uh, and the content creator was able to actually run it. Uh, so it looked pretty interesting. It kind of looked like the image. So I think this is pretty insane how people maybe with minimal coding experience might be able to w build some form of applications or some web pages if they kind of practice with ChatGPT over time. Uh, so like I mentioned, definitely make sure to follow McKay Wrigley uh, on X. He shares a lot and a lot of great information. Um, here's another one from him. He kind of posts a uh, image. He's like, hey, look, I want you to kind of create this website, this landing page, home. You have the about us, the contact, the sign up, the login, and hello world, and just the enter email subscribe. Uh, so overall, he ended up getting the code and ended up trying it. Uh, and this is the final outlook. So it's pretty interesting, right? We, we definitely see some pretty crazy use cases here in the coding market, especially if you are just a beginner. Next, we do have one from Ali, uh, Ali Jules. Uh, we can see the, the ticker, uh, not their ticker, their username right here. And they're using ChatGPT-4V for graph analysis. Uh, so this is more in the financial world. And they pretty much ask, hey, look, can you analyze this graph for me, highlighting major findings? And they're taking a closer look at two stocks, NVIDIA and Tesla, which have seen a nice roundup this year. And ChatGPT kind of looks at it and tells, hey, look, this is uh, a graph of Tesla and NVIDIA. There's been some rapid growth in forms of stock price. There have been some declines. I, I mean, I don't think there was anything too, too crazy here, but in my opinion, it just showcases how well ChatGPT is able to read the kind of, of, of image, right? Uh, and kind of give us their response of what they're seeing. Next, we have one from William Lampkin. Um, William Lampkin, it does seem like very, it did very similar to McKay, where they're using ChatGPT to kind of create web pages and maybe applications and just kind of showcasing um, the, the ability of, hey, maybe if you are some form of, cont uh, of website developer or if you want to begin to develop a website, uh, maybe we can use ChatGPT for this. So they sent the image here. We can see an image of how they want the page to look. And this was the final response. Um, it does seem like a little it, it's not perfect right i think then you have to work around um, we can see certain things are not centered um and obviously things can be improved here visually uh, but right off the bat again if you are not a coder and i'm pretty sure if you spend maybe a, a few hours a day practicing with chat gpt the amount the, the websites and applications you can probably build are insane next we have one from roy herman um and this one was pretty interesting nothing insane here like code building but it kind of just showcases how well ChatGPT Vision is. Uh, so Roy, uh, Roy Herman seems to just post a picture of Billions, uh, the final season, just a, a, a quick image, uh, a, a quick promo, promo, right? Image highlight. Uh, and here it just tell they just ask ChatGPT, hey, what do you see here? And ChatGPT tells you, hey, look, there's eight characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I actually see eleven characters, so they might have missed some, or unless they don't count some of the faces here. Um, but they kind of tell you, hey, look, um, th this is what they're doing. I see a woman with dark hair wearing a black outfit on the far left i see a young man with a shaved head wearing a brown turtleneck and black pants uh, so it just kind of showcases different solutions um I'm, I, again this one they might have missed it uh, um, they might have missed things here and there but i do believe it kind of showcases a little bit of how well it's doing at reading and obviously how it can obviously get better over time there's still some mistakes here as well so next we have another one from McKay Wrigley. And McKay Wrigley, he does have, this one's pretty interesting, like I mentioned. Make sure to follow him as he has shared a lot and a lot of great information. But he sends an image of a human cell. He asks ChatGPT, hey, look, I'm a ninth grader in biology. Unfortunately, I'm really struggling. Can you help me understand this? And then ChatGPT goes and kind of explains all most of the important parts of the human cell here. Uh, so make it easier to understand. And the great thing here is you can use ChatGPT as a tool and I'll be like, okay, look, I understand this, this, and this, but I still don't understand this. Can you explain it in another way so I can grasp the idea better? Then you can even go on and be like, hey, look, maybe can you even give me a quick quiz on what you just taught me to see if maybe if I am understanding it? So I do believe ChatGPT will be pretty crazy for future of education. 
Now we have one from Peter Yang. I unfortunately don't know if this is right. I haven't really tried reading it. Um, but there's this it's, it's this funny image that has so many different kind of parking enforcement laws. And the per Peter Yang pretty much had mentioned, say, look, it's Wednesday at 4 p.m. Can I park at this spot right now? Tell me in one line. And uh, ChatGPT says, yes, you can park up to one hour starting at 4 p.m. Uh, so again, I don't know if this is true. Um, I, I, maybe someone might kind of do uh, do this, um, but it, it kind of, it, another use case, right? Kind of troubleshooting with a lot of different images at the same time. All right, the last one I have is one from Pietro. Uh, here we do have his X account uh, and pretty much it's like, hey, what do you think this me the meaning of this image is? And it kind of goes through each four image slides. We can see the image has four slides and kind of in describes of what's happening within each panel and really kind of give the highlight of the overall image. Uh, so I think this is pretty insane. It can really kind of showcase how well ChatGPT Vision is picking up the context of what's happening, uh, right? And it's being able to, I, I mean, I think this is insane. To be able to read this, I, that, I, now that I'm thinking about it, right, there's so much happening in this image, so much it's able to pick up, I, I just think it's insane how it's able to pick up that all these images relate, why each image is important, and the final meaning of this image, and why it is funny in its own sense. Uh, so, like I mentioned, I'm probably one of the few users that still does not have ChatGPT for vision. Maybe, maybe there might be a few other people like me struggling to get the, the, the feature. Uh, so, what I wanted to do was just kind of showcase the different ways people are using it. I do believe once I have access to to it. I'm going to be trying random tests and seeing where I go from there. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Take care. Have a good day and see you next time.